Hi guys! I watched a second movie that was on my list of my most anticipated in 2023 and we are doing a full review on it. There will be spoilers because no one should see this movie. It's Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey. So this movie opens with a storyboard type drawing explaining that all of the animals in the Hundred Acre Woods they went essentially feral after Christopher Robin left for college. I think it was five years prior to whatever is happening today. So in five years, these lovable little weirdos went from cuddly little teddy bears that relied on Christopher Robin to bring them honey and food to absolute sadistic killing machines. So once you get past the intro, which I actually thought was kind of interesting, and also it had this like very childhood vibe, like it looked like you were sitting down and starting to watch a Winnie the Pooh movie, and then the tone just shifted. I will tell you right now, I don't know any of the characters' names beyond Winnie the Pooh, Piglet, and Christopher Robin, because those are the only ones that matter. But essentially, you get to a point where Christopher Robin and his fiance are coming because he wants to prove to her that he's not insane. He wants to introduce his fiance to Winnie the Pooh and his other bestest buds that he hasn't seen in like five years. So they go and he tries to introduce her. Oh no, they're feral and they attack this poor bitch who goes from being like, I will support you, I'm just here for you because I'm here to go through everything with you, life forever, to like, oh my God, please tell them to stop killing me and she's getting strangled and then Christopher Robin is just sitting here over on the side being like no like not interfering at all it's the most useless piece of shit ever honestly she probably got out quick a lot of the violence at the beginning was done as drawings and then that just went away like I could see that being like the opening chapter and maybe the closing chapter as kind of like bookends but it just kind of happened for the first 20-ish minutes anytime there was violence and then never again. The side plot is that there's this woman who has a stalker, she and her group of friends go in this little cabin which is by a hundred acre woods and they're there to relax. They start running into Winnie the Pooh and to Piglet and they start getting all of the characters are interchangeable. The acting is subpar at absolute best. Character design for Winnie the Pooh is literally that creepy Winnie the Pooh mask. And then they do like weird close-ups of his mouth eating honey and blood and stuff. And it's just like, imagine my mouth has no teeth and it's just a black hole of nothingness. It's literally like he's gumming it. He's like, it's so weird. I'm so split on how this movie used its time because it had so many of those scenes where it was like, 20 to 30 seconds of just like close-ups on this horrific mask and just like honey dripping down it and then the ending was so abrupt as far as like what happens to this one character no idea everyone took so long doing everything that should have been done with any sort of like speed and you're having a conversation and you're just staring at them and you're like who are you where are they why are you here what did they do where should we go who is the president how many fingers am i holding up like it is unreal if you're in a survival situation and you see somebody and you're being a good enough person to go and like rescue them before you run away you do that with speed. You do that with purpose. You don't do that while sitting there and being like, you know what, I'm a curious person. Like, I have questions for you. Now, some of you may be thinking, you're nitpicking a Z-list movie. <laughs> and you're correct. The thing is, this movie is such a fucking weird out of left field concept that if a couple of things were like, toned down and a few of the concepts were like, zoned in on and they had maybe like, 30,000 more dollars to make some sort of an effect a little bit better. This could have been a cult classic bad movie, but with the way that it was done, the way that the characters have, you don't care about them, right? And you don't really need to. Don't try to give them a backstory. They don't need one. They could have just been a group of girls and you focus on them at the cabin and you focus on, like give them 20 minutes for character development. We're not gonna let anything drive us apart. And then one by one, they're getting picked off. That would have been a more interesting way to hone in. I just like, so 
saw the potential in it. That's all. I wanted this to be a movie that I would be like, wait, you guys have to see this at a sleepover when we're all like an edible deep, just like, whoa, this is gonna be so funny. But the movie that I would actually suggest for that is Cocaine Bear. Anyways, if you have seen this movie, let me know what you thought. Those are my thoughts on the movie. Let me know what yours are if you saw this monstrosity. And I will see you all later.